What's up, guys? It's uh, the Nerd Boys Podcast. What is this? Episode 49. Um, we're going to start off with freaking uh, intros. Ladies first. Moxie. What up, doll? What it do, what it don't. Hope everybody had a good week as always. Thank you for tuning back in with us once as always. Um, yeah. I don't I've... really got too much to say. So, hey, let's rock. All right. Uh, secondly, uh, Bunny Boy. Yo, it's your boy, Rabbit, a.k.a. Mr. Fluffy Butt, a.k.a. DJ Carrot Six. Uh, thanks for thanks for joining back up. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Chrono, Mr. Late as always. What happened? Intro. Oh, Black Man here. Um, 95 subs. Um... I'm doing a Sekiro run based off of deaths. You can win a copy of Outriders when it comes out. Yeah. Intro. All right. I don't know what the fuck is going on with uh, Skies. Are you there? I'm here. Okay. Uh, intro. Uh, hey, guys. Skies. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, let's get going. All right. Uh, Shay in the back. Don't sound too happy. Uh-huh. All right, uh, Shay lives in the back, so she can give her two cents if she want. I'm not really hard pressed about that. Um, we're just gonna do this a little different today, and we're gonna move it like that. So, <sighs> there's no steak and potatoes. We literally are just gonna go through everything that happened this week. Um, we're gonna, if you guys want to expand on that, we can. But if not, we'll keep it moving. And when I'm done with the news. We are going to answer questions and get up out of here. So I don't want to hold you guys this time too much longer. Um, first things first, GameStop lost about eighty percent of their stock in one day. It went hey. from it went from sixty five to four dollars and sixty two cents. So GameStop is on life support. Does anybody care? Oh, that's what happened. I thought they gained eighty percent. I like read it. What oh, what happened? Like do they? Is, is yeah, it they got into PS? it. Something happened on Reddit. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it went, it surged up. So yeah, it, it, you're right. Yeah, it, it, it went, went up eighty percent because they got into it with some people on Reddit. Yep. Something happened on Reddit, and let me, I, I'll pull it up. Something happened on Reddit though. Uh, GameStop's so like, uh, previous floundering stock value surged uh thirteen eighty percent over last year's from four. So basically, the stock end up end up being. Four dollars and sixty-two cents to sixty-five dollars. Uh, after a Reddit day, traders clashed with short-term sellers such as Clinton Research, forcing the company's market value to go up to four point five billion at its peak. So uh, I don't know exactly the details about it, but I know that Microsoft uh, came through and bought uh, a lot. Is buying a lot of GameStops. That might have something to do with it. But uh, Chrono, you had something you wanted to say? That's good for them if it went up 80%. Yeah. Because it's showing interest. But yeah, that's got to be because of something with Microsoft. Because I, I wonder what that Reddit post had to have said for, you know, gain, something internally had to happen for GameStop to go up 80%. Something in that conversation had to happen. So some information probably got disclosed that people didn't know about with GameStop. And they said, hold up. Why, why are we mess with y'all then? And then they went over to GameStop. That's what I'm assuming. Now I haven't seen the Reddit post, so I can't speak 100. percent Yeah, I haven't actually read the Reddit post myself either. Yeah, so I can't, you know, I can't give 100 percent details on that. I don't want nobody on the podcast seeming like we know exactly everything. But on the business side, you, you went up 80 percent. People still gonna go to game. Like I said, it's not too many people that are keen to online shopping. There's still plenty of people that go to GameStop, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, the one, the uh, the GameStop buy, where I'm at, I'm like, yeah, the GameStop, where I'm at is people still go there because they they sell retro games. They still sell Xbox 360 games, Super Nintendo games. Like, we still go to the GameStop over here. So that one is still pretty lit. Not to mention, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna say, yeah, not to not to mention the novelty of stuff you can get there. You can get like my chain chop lamp. I got at GameStop for fifty bucks. I was just about to so say that. Like, so GameStop, even though I need to clean this boy dusty as hell. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, you you can still get stuff from GameStop. I just said they need to convert from a game store to a novelty store like Fye, like they did. So, what you about to say, Moxie? I think I might represent the other side of the spectrum because I can't tell you the last time I've been into a GameStop. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people who say that. There's a lot of people. I've Damn. I've only stepped into GameStop the last couple of times for PS5. Other than that, the last time I was at a GameStop was to buy my um my Pokemon Sword um uh Switch. So about two years ago. Yeah, that was besides that, the last two times I was in it was for the PS five and that was it. I, I have not gone in there for anything other than that. I was saying the last time I went for a game was Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. The last time I've been in GameStop was like three months ago because that's where I get all my fighting game controllers from. So like my Hori Hori pad, um, shoot, I just ordered a hitbox, but I ordered that straight from Hitbox. So yeah, I think I've been doing the majority of like my gaming shopping solely. I get my games, I buy them from a uh, GameFly. Really, I rent shit out, and then what I tend to do is I rent games out, I beat them, and then when they get cheap or when I get like some coupons or some shit on Game on GameFly, I'll uh, purchase them through there. And then, like, all of my accessories and shit, or if there's, like, a game that I have to have when it's new, I get it from Amazon, really. So. True. But, yeah, yeah, I, everything I get online, I, I can't tell you the last time I bought a, a, a disc copy of anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's the thing. A lot of people still buy discs, and a lot of yeah. people that's, like, prevalent when I'm on... When Christmas shopping, I go to uh, GameStop. Like, uh, I was buying my nephew Mortal Kombat for his uh, Xbox. I went to GameStop for there just to... But yeah, him to have something to unwrap on Christmas. But other than that, I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, I will say I get most of my game digital. But if it's like a game I'm really excited for, like Guilty Gear Strive is a game I'm really excited for. I'm going to go to GameStop and go get that game. Like I'm going yeah. to GameStop to get it. I do like the disc though because I I don't know I treat my games as well like collectibles in, in a sort of fashion. So I'm still the type of gamer who likes to see all of their game titles just lined up nice and pretty and you know. I used to I used to be like that, but then I've moved so much I've lost a bunch right. of shit. Right. Yeah. And it's just like I ain't trying to lose any more of it. So if I if I just have a like it like digitally, I can download it whenever I need it. I mean like it's too I, expensive to be losing them. I know that's it's know. it's just the convenience to like if you stay right next to a GameStop you can get some games for the low. Like right now, if I want to go get Cyberpunk again, I get Cyberpunk for twenty dollars at GameStop right now on yeah. PS4. Yep, right now. So it's like it's it's pros and cons to both. Certain games I, I, become super cheap at GameStop. Yeah, after like, a certain amount. Of time. I'll be honest with you. After the whole Cyberpunk thing, I don't want games digitally no more. I would rather get them on this. <laughs> I agree. Why like, after that whole thing and then going through basically the dude, I even sent the notes. Uh, the dude basically telling me ain't shit we can do about it before they had shit they could do about it. Like, no, I would rather have the day. So I I would rather go to game. And that might be a reason why it's blowing up. It's because of the whole cyberpunk situation. People don't trust digital copies no more because of the policies with them. So, yeah, GameStop might give you $5 back, but, hey, at least they're giving you $5 back. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you gonna trade in your PS5? Here's twenty bucks, bro. <laughs> uh, at least you get twenty bucks. You sent the PlayStation. They gonna stay. They know we can do it. But ain't no return policy. <laughs> Moving Good. on. Um, Vicarious Visions, uh, known for uh, the uh, Spyro and Crash remakes uh, that came out recently, and they made then they make Crash Bandicoot Four. Yes. And they also made Crash Team Racing. Basically, uh, Activision uh, told them, yeah, that's cool and all. Uh, oh, they also did Tony Hawk's the remakes, the one or two remakes. Uh, they said, okay. oh, that's that's cool and all, but uh, y'all working for Blizzard now. So they essentially shut them down to make them work for Blizzard. To make them work for Overwatch 2 specifically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm an Overwatch crackhead, but like this pissed me off. Where, why? Um, because I feel like uh, Blizzard oh, is a big Blizzard enough company money. and they should be able to handle their own shit. One, two. Uh, those games did numbers, so I don't know why you would shut down that uh, that whole studio because th- there was rumors about a Spyro 4 coming out, and now I guess that's just what it was. It was just a rumor. We didn't get it. 
because you gotta look at it like this. How much money the Crash Bandicoot make them compared to how much money Overwatch is making them. <laughs> no, I get that, but like you, you own both saying? of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. You own both of them. You've shown that obviously there's a want for platformers. Yep. Obviously there's a want for I've already said this before. Uh I think my sister Della asked us a question saying, What generation of games do I feel like do we feel like we're going into? And I said it's the generation of remakes. Mm-hmm. Or re or revitalization of old, you know, old classic game. Crash Four is an amazing game. It's probably the best Crash to come out ever. And I, I, you can quote me on saying that it's probably the best Crash to come out ever. That game did numbers. What was it? Crash Team Racing did numbers. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two Remake did fucking number. That game is amazing. Yeah, it is. Why are y'all shutting it down? And if you look at it and then you look at Overwatch, which isn't do- doing well at all, it's doing okay. It's not doing as good as it was, but it's doing pretty okay. I mean, for the game to but, be out for, what, five years at this point? Five um, years. It's doing okay. You know, it's doing good. But think of how much money they're making off of loot boxes in that game. Mm-hmm. And so we, they're, they're for sure stopping the, the production of all these other games just to, like, or are they just buying them out? No, so it's already they already owned it. So they, they just already it owned it. Yeah, they owned it. They shut it down for them to go work on Overwatch too. Yep, there's a whole so, about it. My my next question is: Overwatch Two was supposed to drop this year. How much? It's else supposed to drop. Need? Yeah. So if you're shutting down a whole studio to work on Overwatch Two, that's spooky. my next question is: What the hey, fuck is man, Overwatch Two? They saw they saw what happened to Cyberpunk. They ain't trying to be another Cyberpunk, bro. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I actually agree with that. I actually think Overwatch Two was not doing that good, so they shut down the studio to go work on Overwatch Two because Overwatch Two was not doing that good. Not right for now. nothing. It don't. But, not for nothing. But how can I go from making Crash to go making Overwatch, bro? Like, the, I don't know. Maybe the code. And let's be the, real. The the am, the animation and the in the cartoon design isn't going to be that much different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, if you look at Crash 4 and you look at Overwatch, it's the same design. It's almost uh, exact replica of the same design. I get it's that. Just it's going from, from a platformer person. to a shooter, it's like a complete genre change. Well, I'm pretty yeah, sure they're yeah, going to be working that. on environmental stuff. Like, you got your design team that works on character characteristics, and you got your team that works on the environment. So they Which probably goes to my other point. You shutting down a whole uh, company just to work on background shit? That's what I'm thinking. That's the only thing I can think <laughs> That's of, That's fucked bro. up. <laughs> You, you gotta. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're coming out with new maps for Overwatch. Too. I get that, Overwatch but we have to close out. a whole studio to work on a map. Yeah, I'm gonna look at it. I'm like, you know, when Overwatch Two come back, everybody who stopped playing Overwatch, like me, and you stop playing Overwatch. Skies stop playing Overwatch. Moxie probably never played Overwatch. That's false. Rabbit Skies was playing no, Overwatch the other day. No, I've I've played Overwatch for the past week with some other friends of mine. Yeah. So, I, booted, I booted it up during the uh, winter stuff for skins. But. So I'm like, and you know, me and AK were hardcore every single day yeah. for like five or six hours. Oh, yeah. Overall. Oh, no, yeah. I remember we used to, AK <laughs> used to leave his job, come home, play with us, and then go back to his job. Hey, no, I would be on the we, clock playing Overwatch, bro. Like, right, we'll be on the clock. Like, I'm pretty sure when Overwatch 2 comes back, it's going to be the same exact thing. I get off work, he get off work. Hey, you on Overwatch? We on there right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, bro, Overwatch was life, so I'm pretty sure they're adding new stuff to bring people like us that were hardcore that gave up on the game back. But this makes no sense. Why would you shut down a studio that is bringing you money? Like, I don't know, man. It ain't like this is some no-name it's, studio that didn't make any type of uh, hits or anything recently. Like, I'm, they made two hits back to back. Them boys said a. But it's one. it's it's about the it's about the the. Uh... What's the word? It's about the amount of money that Overwatch 2 can bring in to the amount of money that the games are working on now can bring in. Overwatch 2 has a higher potential of bringing more money in. So therefore, they're going to drop everything else to make more of the money. I mean, I, I agree, but like like when you own both of the studios, it ain't like they went out and purchased it on the, for that. But you already own that shit, so like, I don't know. Oh no! Yeah, I get it. I I get it one hundred percent. I don't I don't agree with it either. But they're going with the money move. Yeah, you know what so I'm saying. 
peek this. People are selling their accounts right now, right? So I'm looking at an account right now. No shit. You can buy a Smurf account that is top 500 right now with all the skins in the game for $500, right? That's every skin in the game. I think the maximum one I'm looking at right now is $1,150, right? So let's say every, like, let's say just everybody had at least half of that. You know how much money people, that means people had to spend on the game just to have that much for an account. And that's a account with everything. <laughs> that's like literally account with every single thing. They're giving you a password and everything. So I'm pretty sure if we do the calculation, they got, they done made about borderline, let's uh, just say like around. Just off of the sheer so fact how much money they raised off of that fucking breast so cancer million? thing. They sold yeah. a $20 skin and made billions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and think they ain't keep ten percent of that, <laughs> right? I keep telling people they didn't keep ten percent of that. They they said they made about around what two billion, something like that, in the span of like a week. Mm-hmm. And then what ten percent of two billion is what? Two mil. Two hundred thousand. I think it's two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. So they they kept some of that money. Are you guys smoking crack right now? Two ten percent. Two billion should be a two million. Should right? be no. It should be like two hundred and twenty-two million. Ten yeah, percent of two billion. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Some millions. That's what I'm saying. That she was like some millions, yo. And then that's not even to include all the loot. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Pause. Made. Fuck you, bro. How are you just gonna come in and try to hit on our math like you knew what you probably fucking looked it up in the calculator? Fuck you, Scott. It's okay. Bro, it's I'm okay, literally right? over, I'm it's literally okay. over here listening to motherfuckers <laughs> talk about 10% of fucking 2 billion. Like, y'all crazy. No, because isn't 10% of 2 million 2,000? Nope. Y'all, listen, 10% of two, two billion, billion is 200, is 200 million. million. Yeah, so they made at least $200 million off that $2 billion they made off the pussy-ass mercy skins that's just a recolor. All I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say is I was the, the, the one that graduated high school the closest for one and for two, obviously y'all didn't take no advanced math classes. Sorry. Uh, actually, no. I was in. Uh, actually, I was in um, AP. What was it? Fucking algebra or some shit like that. I was in AP algebra all the high school. But that was in 2011. Sir, okay. I was I was taking college classes in 2010. Bro, yeah, last time I took any you know, classes was like kinda... 15 years ago, bro. You were still fucking in diapers the last time I did any math class. Shut the fuck up. I was not a diaper. <laughs> yeah, wait, Ravi. Hey, yo, who put fucking blue jeans on my salad, man? That was in 2011. Fucking. Ten years ago. Wait, 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 wait. AK, man, who put blue cheese on your salad? <laughs> Oh, I can't even. Hold up, we don't like no blue more. cheese around here. No, 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 no. blue cheese, oh, you, gross. You wow. uncultured swine. You blue cheese is delicious. Have you <laughs> no, never uh, had like a cob salad with bacon and blue cheese no. on it? Oh shit! Yeah, I ain't it my hold on, hold on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> AK about to go. He turned into care. That shit keto, it. ain't it? It's keto. It is, but <laughs> I don't like blue cheese. At all, sir. Uh, no, that's shit ten dollars. I'm about to eat this shit. Um, you about to eat that nasty ass blue cheese? Uh, I'm gonna have to. Blue cheese is so good on the right stuff. Uh, it's a grilled chicken salad from Dairy Queen. Anyway. Yeah, with a little bacon, chicken. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. Um, long story. Long story short, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm gonna miss Vicarious Visions. Uh, they did some uh the Crash Bandicoot series some justice, but we'll see. Um, Microsoft. Oh boy! So, uh, uh, Microsoft apparently uh, raised the uh, prices of Xbox Live. If you bought your shit uh, by monthly, it was only a dollar increase. But if you bought your shit yearly, it was they doubled in price. So, <laughs> it was like a hundred something dollars for a year pass of Xbox Live. 
it got so bad and they got so much backlash. The news of them uh, increasing it was yesterday. Not even 24 hours later, they backtracked and said, yeah, we, yeah, we was tripping. We sorry. Uh-huh. Codeine got me tripping. <laughs> Hey, um, uh, Milton, you, you the thing. Xbox stand out here. You care to explain that shit? Right. Look. Is this your king? Look, I brought Game Pass with gold. So I only paid $15 a month. My shit worked immaculately. So well, my shit I, I don't care. <laughs> my shit working fine. <laughs> I didn't care. But, um, nah. Hey, I'm pro. You see, PlayStation, you see what happened when the Xbox fan base, as small as we are, get on our people head. You see what they do? They backtrack and we get games for free. We don't need PlayStation Plus to play our free games. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. are some games. There are some games yeah, yeah, that you online. need PlayStation Plus. No? Yeah, no? You do. Yeah, the backlash was so bad, they made it free. If it's a free game, you do not need That's Xbox. That's bullshit, because my nephew has an Xbox One, and he had Fortnite. Could not play online until we bought Xbox No, I'm Live, telling right? you, because of the backlash... You can now. Unless that shit just happened. Okay. Yes, it just but happened. With, I'm about to say, I literally, I, the only reason why he has Xbox Live now because I paid a dollar and got three months of the, the ultimate shit. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it just happened. Because of the, Oh, shit. Because of the backlash. It just <laughs> this happened. is such a messy ass episode. So, did you just fall down the stairs or some shit? No, I, I, something failed and hit my computer. But yeah, because of the backlash that happened with Xbox, they said, you know what? Because we fucked up, now you do not need Xbox Live to play anything online. Which I mean, a free game. That's been like that on PlayStation, but you know, no, it hasn't. Yeah, there's yeah. certain games on PlayStation that you need PlayStation Plus to play online. Not no free to play ones. The um, Gundam game you need it. Is it free to play? Yes. So I can go download it right now, and they won't let me play. Because Fortnite, I don't need a uh, uh, PlayStation Plus to play that. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, I couldn't play that gun to one. And I ha- I didn't have PlayStation Plus at the time. I don't know. Um, I, It might be a game-by-game game basis, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's what it usually is, is a game-by-game game basis. It's not all games. It's very few, but some of them you need PlayStation Plus to play. I don't know why, but you need it. And same with Xbox. But now, Xbox, like, no, nah, get rid of it. If it's free, you don't need it. Sky Rabbit, do you guys care at all? No. No, not about the Xbox thing, no. Nah. You know I'll do it before. I appreciate back. Xbox for, for the competition that they bring to the table, but I'll be lying to you. For if sure. I, I'll be lying to you Everybody. if I say I actually care about their product. Um, Except for a few games. Just a few. No, I, I played the absolute fucking shit out of Halo 1 back in the day, but other than that... Mm-hmm. Fable. <laughs> At the end of the yeah. day, in the words, table was my shit too. In the words of Lawrence, Darnell, and Rue, my shit worked immaculate. Oh, I don't care. I didn't have that problem. So, mm-hmm. um, there's a um aftermarket Game Boy uh game that's coming out after 31 years of the Game Boy being out. So somebody's out here making games for the OG Game Boy. Um, it was a Kickstarter game. Uh, I'm not exactly sure all the details about it but yeah so they, we still out here making uh nintendo game boy games for the og group. so is it gonna I'm get not opposed to that <laughs> most likely you know how nintendo is right you know that's nintendo, man. N- nintendo yeah yeah if you ain't paying them then i mean most big companies if you ain't paying them don't think you can just pop up with some shit that's made by them but i'm not necessarily surprised by this i think it'll do well until Nintendo gets a whiff of it and they shut that shit down, um, and then probably come out with their own. <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. yeah, gamers yeah, don't we, be surprised we if kinda... we have a, a Game Boy Mini come out here sometimes. Huh? Mm-hmm. As soon as they see, as soon as what they'll probably do is they'll allow this company to go as far as they need to to gather all of the information that they see from this, so they can see how popular and profitable that this may be. And then they're gonna shut that shit down, and they're gonna come out with their own. That's gonna be priced probably like twice as much as the, the the they were charging for it, you know. But gamers, we tend to have no problem with diving into like our pool of old games and shit. I had a Game Boy Color, a purple clear Game Boy Color that was I it the actual Game on. Boy Color that had colors, or was it the Game Boy Color that the Game Boy itself was just a different color? Because it was two the different Game games. Boy, 
<laughs> well, the Game Boy itself was just a different color. Yeah, it was like yeah. purple, People get clear, confused when you say that. <laughs> okay, thank you for clarifying for everybody. But it was like the had, it was the clear see through one. purple one. And I had like the little light that you clip on the top of it so I could play it at nighttime. Well. It was terrible, but it needed it to do. You know, it's just a, we and the gamers don't have problem playing games that have that old school kind of look to it. So I don't think look at the indie scene, be. yeah, right. Hell I'm yeah, about to say, look at the messenger. They make the there's games that they is. make just to look like that to give that retro feel. So hell yeah, this would do. I was good. just playing River City but, Girls the other day. That game looks like a 16 bit game. See, I ain't gonna hold. See, you see, you see the Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, yeah you see Scott Pilgrim fucking logo. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all, I've been playing the fuck out of that game, boy. I didn't beat it and then played it again. Like, come on, that game is amazing. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> the Terminator and Sarah Connor are on Fortnite. I don't know why, but they are. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. The Funko Sarah Pops Connor. of video games, bro. <laughs> Uh, God, that, is the smash, that is the smash of shooters, bro. I don't care what nobody said. That is the Smash Brothers of shooting game. And it's a, it's a, a uh, it's a rumor that Laura Cross is supposed to be coming too. Man, look, they they what they they about to start doing movies now, like big name movies, aren't they? That should be the next. Well, well I mean, they, shit, they fucking Terminators hero. is one of the biggest movie franchises ever. I don't see why not. So um, they did Terminator. It's, you got The Walking Dead, which is a big series. Yeah, so I'm Walking pretty Dead sure they're moving too. into Hollywood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're moving into Hollywood. Yeah, because they did they did uh they did uh Star Wars too. Yeah, yeah. the Mandalorian so is like, there too. Oh. Yeah. So it's like they got to be doing like big pop culture type things. Because that's yeah, what it seems so. like the next season is going to be. You know, it's like pop culture. Um. Moving on, uh, Call of Duty. There was a Call of Duty tournament uh, where, after hacking and cheating allegations, people are coming at um, Activision's next to uh, put some anti-cheat shit on their thing because it was a 2500k tournament for Twitch. And people say, hey, they cheated. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it was for Warzone. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But uh, people are accusing him of cheating, and now this is a whole big deal. Uh, uh, Skies, do you know anything about this? Bro, this shit was crazy. You watched, like, videos of that shit, bro, and, like, the people who were getting hacked on, like, their bullets were literally freezing in midair. Like, people were what? shooting, and their what? bullets were, like, You're lying. yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not counting, here. bro. I gotta find a video and show you this shit. Like, they were literally... Like, you know how, like, in most games like that, like an online game, like, that is completely online, that's fucking, you know, server-based, a hundred different people connecting the same fucking server, like, it is very hard to cheat in that. Besides, like, an aimbot, right? Right. Like, these motherfuckers were, like, these guys were teleporting, dude. Like, these, these, the people that were, like, getting hacked on were, like, teleporting. Their screens were freezing. Like, like, bullets were, like, just chilling in midair. Like, like, seriously, Damn. like, it's, it's fucking crazy. I gotta, so I gotta look question, this shit up for y'all. My question is, was it something like an EU versus an NA thing? Because I know a role company. I don't think so. I'm about to say, I know a role company, there's a lot of situations where a lot of North America players go over to Europe. In the Europe service, it's we're a North Canadian America. player named Metsy. I'm sorry. Oh, it's Canadian. Oh, nah, nah, bro. You cheating, cheating? Because Canada and America right next to each other, boy. <laughs> you cheating, cheating? He said you cheating, cheating. <laughs> I can see For it, real, bro. that shit wild. That's like hell, no. Nah. That's like it's 2021. We still, we like, still putting aimbot in video games, bro. Right. Dog, hold on. This yeah. man Neo in the game. That's literally, what I was bro. thinking. Like, yo, this is <laughs> Matrix level cheating right here. Yo, this dude literally went there. Like, look, I took the red pill, sir. I can stop bullets. Watch. <laughs> took the red pill, sir. I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, this is wild. Hold on, man. I need to see this video. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I trying to find did. a video right now. We might even have to drop that in the Clip that. Hold yeah. on. Drop it in the chat when you find yeah. it, and I'll uh, play it for the people who are watching it on YouTube. Hell That's yeah. crazy. I'll play it for the people. What's the hey, name? Um, Capcom announces a multiplayer shooter called Resident Evil Reverse. It's supposed to be coming out with a, <laughs> a Resident Evil 8. And our, nap- our resident nappy head Millie had some things to say about it. Listen. 
this ain't a promotion. I did a whole video on this shit, and I broke it down on how terrible that fucking multiplayer <laughs> this shit looked. Listen, everybody likes to say I'm negative Nancy. Everybody likes to say that, right? When I say this is the worst looking Resident Evil multiplayer I've ever seen, because they're trying to redo um, Umbrella Corpse. Now, everybody remember what Umbrella Corpse looked like, how I played it, right? It was all right. It, it, it was kind of trash. How do you take that concept? Then you have Resistance, which Resistance isn't a bad game. Resistance just needs to be tweaked a little bit. It needed more content and needs to be tweaked. But it's not a bad game. It's actually pretty fun. And then you make this shit. Like, bro, I promise you, if you watch the trailer, the trailer doesn't even do it justice. I can see if the trailer was like, okay, you actually shooting the bots. Like, bro, they was running around. It was like they were intentionally missing shots. You see Jill running in the circle. Dog, like she it was, was literally out. in the fucking trailer. You can see Jill fucking shooting the floor, bro. Like, <laughs> right, like, dog, I'm not even playing. Dog, and then they tried to do a scene where it looked like, oh, you know how they had the little duels where somebody shoot at the same time and you don't know who killed somebody. You're like, who killed them? It's supposed to be suspenseful, right? Bro, I slowed it down. They shot. You clearly seen Jill shoot Leon first. And Leon Then died, they got... Right? And Leon, then they got X Factor, and this the mechanic I don't like about the game. When you die, you turn into a zombie. Okay, hey, I can see if it's a regular zombie. You don't want to uh, little zombies and stuff like that. Leon dies and turns into Nemesis. Nemesis, <laughs> we all know Nemesis. You know that's the trench coat. You know that's the god right there. He got the trench coat. That man got tentacles coming out of his hand like it's a hentai. That boy got the rocky, the half sink. Like people die, people like die and they turn into tyrants and shit. Like, what the fuck? All right, turn into tyrants, turn into that old crazy man from Seven that we never heard from ever again. Like, come on, bro. That shit about to be trash. And then Here's people. My thing. Who the fuck asked for a Resident Evil multiplayer game? Who asked for that? Because they put it, they put in resistance. They're trying to do what they did for I Resident Evil. 3. And they added, they added um, a multiplayer to single player games to try to extend the life of the game. I get that. But you know what? You know why I don't think that's a good idea? Fucking um, Resident Evil 2 remake is clearly better than Resident Evil 3 remake, right? 100%. Okay. 100%. You want to know what the difference between those two? One has multiplayer and one doesn't. Want to know which one doesn't? Mm-hmm. Ready to move too. So why are we taking time away from polishing the single player game to focus on a multiplayer that nobody's gonna play besides past a month of it being out? Because I guarantee you nobody's playing that multiplayer for three. I've said it and I will say it again. We Man, need to move away I from sure multiplayer do love being a turtle. Sorry. <laughs> we need to move away from multiplayer being in single player game experiences. Everybody in here, if Resident Evil 8 was good, y'all will buy it just because it's good. Am I right or am I wrong? You would just buy it. Yeah. Like Resident Evil 7 already showed that that style of Resident Evil can be great. Resident Evil 7 is amazing. Yeah. It's scary yeah. as fuck, too. It's yeah. scary as fuck. So you revitalized the series with that. Then you came up with Resident Evil 2 that revitalized it even more. Then so I'll take two steps is, back with Resident Evil 3 adding that trash ass multiplayer to it. And I wouldn't even say the multiplayer was trash. It was just like it needed to be tweaked. The re- the concept of the multiplayer was good. It was the concept of the multiplayer was legit good. It just needed to be tweaked. Resident Evil 3 wasn't even that bad. It's just y'all took out so much content of the story. It's like, oh, this ain't even how the story went. Right. And now you coming out with eight, and now my concern ain't. Oh my god, they put multiplayer in it. My concern is, okay, is this game gonna be good? Man, fuck all that. Where when are we getting the Cold Veronica remake? Look, we would never get Cold a Cold Veronica. Veronica. Five is the only one I'm interested in. As soon as they can make Or Code Veronica X is the only one I'm interested in. That's what I want. I want a Code Veronica remake, bro. Like listen. Until they can find a good voice actor. <laughs> but you know who. <laughs> I don't want Code Veronica. Because, but I ain't gonna lie, Cole Veronica was the best. Cole Resident Veronica Evil is ever. literally like the best Resident Evil that nobody talks about. 
it's between Cole Veronica and four of the best two. Hands and they remaking four again. Like who asked for that, bro? Like. Resident well, Evil well, 4 well, has been well, well, Resident well. Evil 4 has been released on every system since the PS2. Look it up. Resident Evil 4 is the best one. But it hasn't been no. gone long enough for us to miss it. I mean I mean he's not wrong. Every time that boy come back, I show do buy it. No, <laughs> that game came out on the GameCube and PS2. That game came out on the GameCube and PS2. I'm gonna say it again. That game came out on the GameCube and PS2. Why the fuck are we still playing this game? Hey, it's a single that player same experience. Is, listen, listen, that same question you just said is what everybody asked about GTA 5, and we still playing that game. See, <laughs> but here's the thing. GTA, GTA has, like, uh, on, most people playing GTA now is playing the fucking online and going around shooting, doing dumb shit. Nobody's still playing that story. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I won't, because y'all know I'm a single player. Single, single mode player, you know what I mean? Yes, and I probably, I, I, for real though, I'm a, but I really do prefer the fucking story mode of that. I, I've played it probably about two times and Would I'm ready to go back and play it again. Play it on your, uh, to play it again on your PS4, to play it again Hell on your nah. PS5, to play I'm it again, again on the PS2. because I got it. Okay, I'm, you that's know, my point. I'm they keep it again re-releasing it, it and they only keep releasing the story mode, bro. Like, and they charging you full price. For a, t- for, a yeah, 15, really not, for a fifteen year old game, bro. Come on, man. Here's the <laughs> thing, y'all see that meme that was like that? That was like the PlayStation Three had three GTAs, and then the PlayStation well, GTA Five had three PlayStations, like, right. <laughs> like three generations here's, of PlayStations. Here's the thing, though. You can say that about the perfect game, the perfect set of games that you can say that exact sentiment about Street Fighter. If they drop Third Strike. Or even if they drop something no, like Capcom no, versus Marvel I, 2. You I can't because, because you fight people online. It's not the same. It's not, it's the not same a story game. mode game. It's not the same game. GTI is is literally... GTI? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. We both had a little slip-up today. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Great stuff intelligence. It's okay. <laughs> It's all right, rabbit. We're in this together. We're going to get it through it together. It's, it's the same concept for this. Like, all the Street Fighters, it's a different name. It's not the same title. It's like... It's the same concept, but different games. As GTA Five is the same game, nothing has changed. The only thing that changes is the online play with everyone that's that's doing it. Zelda call. Okay. Yeah, that was my that was my ringtone. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think because there is games that still do that. Like, What's one game that does that right now? I got it on my thing. Renaissance name me, of Fate. Name me a single player game that's been re-released as many times as fucking uh, Renaissance uh, of Fate. What is that? Renaissance of Fate. I don't know. That's what Sega's. That is. That's Sega's best RPG ever. Um, that's Tiny Force is called, RPG. and it's calling you bullshit. No, no, no. Res- Resonance of Fate has outsold. Skies of Arcadia. Is that a second game? Hold yes. On. I, I forgot about Skies of Arcadia. Fantasy man. Star. Fantasy Star doesn't sell like that, bro. But we're not t- we're not talking about sales. We're talking about quality and like all of those. Resonance are- of Fate is by far their best game ever created. It's their only RPG they ever got a ten out of ten. And I don't even. It can't be that good if I ain't never heard of it. Bro, I promise you, if you play that game, that game is amazing. What's the one they made? The uh, no, that's not. That's the one on Game Boy. That game is amazing too. The one that's mixed with like Capcom, Sega, and all of them. It's oh, like, Project Cross Zone. That shit is yeah. fire. You want to get remake. that game again? I need to get you that game. You want to do a remake? Remake that. Fun fact: That game came out on PS2. There's a PS2. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and game. it was like Japanese only, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. No, actually, it's a. Um, that's like uh, the first one in the series and then the second one came out on 3ds and the third one came out on 3ds but mm-hmm. i would love to bring that shit back yeah, the, first, the one on the one on ps2 zone. had uh king from um tekken in it if they bring back project zone you can put it on the switch i swear to god i would now that's a game i will spend 60 dollars on every single time it came out that game every was last time it came out because that game was that good mm-hmm. moving on um Capcom, Bandai Namco, and a couple of other um, uh, publishers have been fined 
$9.5 million for geo-blocking PC games in Europe. Basically, uh, these companies have been making it uh, impossible for you to play your games on Steam in Europe. I don't know why, but they've been basically putting in region locks on PC Steam games. Um, before we go into that, AK. Yes. Final Final Fantasy VII. No, Sid. <laughs> I've totally forgot about Final Fantasy VII. That's a game that gets sold at sixty dollars every system. <laughs> Dog, that game be like ten dollars when it comes back out. Um, but yeah, uh, Capcom, Bandai Namco, and a couple others have been geo blocking games for Europe. I don't know why, but yeah. And they got fined $9.5 million. Is any better care or do, do I should I just move on? Oh. Crickets, crickets. Okay. Nah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and uh, people who then passed, uh, RIP to Hank Aaron, um, iconic baseball player. Uh, he broke Babe's Rules record back in the, I want to say it was the 60s. And he applied man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he passed, I want to say, on the 22nd. Uh, that man was a whole legend, R.I.P. Uh, Dave Chappelle has COVID. Um, oh, I thought you were going to say Dave Chappelle. Wait, pause. Ooh, right, because uh, the transition was wild. I was about to be like, no. Yo, oh, Jesus. <laughs> she almost had a heart attack for real. Oh, shit. He said Dave Chappelle has... Oh, Oh Lord, no! Oh my God! <laughs> Y'all had a heart attack. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that transition was ass. I ain't gonna lie, but um, oh God, oh, Dave Chappelle Ooh. has COVID. Um, He's COVID positive, yes, yes. And this uh, is interesting enough. If you know about the stuff, he's been doing like his uh comedy shows, his little comedy parties, and he's been having God. them come in and test twice. They had to do like twice. And he's really been trying to be kind of as cautious as he can about it's it, but that kind of just you show as, you. You can be as careful as you want to be as an airborne virus. That's what I was about to say. That just, man. I, I the C off. is for I'm all. You. Them shits is for everybody. It does not oh, discriminate. I, I, I need to get some water because that shit just hurt my soul. I, I, that shit literally hurt me. I'll be right back. Go ahead and finish your the announcements. Um, Tekken okay. apparently has, is holding the Guinness World Record for the longest video game storyline that's still going on. And he goes to get water when it's a topic about Tekken. Uh, apparently, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat technically have been running longer, but uh, Mortal Kombat 9 and Street Fighter Alpha were prequels and remakes, so they wasn't one long, continuous story. Tekken 1, from all the way from Tekken 1 to Tekken 7, has been one long, continuous story, and it holds the Guinness World Record for the longest, continuous story line. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it is pretty cool. The That's Ash- pretty dope. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Uh, the Ashanti versus Keisha Cole uh, versus battle happened last week, and um, I'm gonna just say Keisha Cole's titties won. Um, <laughs> 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 this so you right mean here. we all won? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, what happened? We was talking about titties. Tekken and uh, how uh, it's the longest running story period in video games. And then uh, we went from that to uh, Keisha Cole and Ashanti and uh, Keisha Cole's titties and how they were just immaculate out there. Man, I I was hoping her titty popped out. I ain't even gonna hold you. Me too. I was was hoping her titty popped out. Hey, I didn't catch it live. Her friend who was in the back singing all goddamn night. Look, fuck that. Ace Ace Vane did a parody of it, and that's how I felt watching that whole thing she (laughs) said. He said, yo, she's like, I'm light skinned. I got 7,000 unread DMs. She said, I was born with 7,000 unread DMs. That's in the light skin. That's in the light skin package. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. But the verses was was decent. Look. Keisha Cole ain't want to be there. Yo, he was, she was high drunk, or she was ready. She to and she came so, in like a whole, the first time. like a whole twenty minutes late too. For real, you could tell she was. I mean, she was like, "We we should have did this shit. You made me wait. You stood me up on the first go around." So, look, Keisha Cole and got ugly. I'm, I'm just be honest with y'all. Ashanti is still number one in my. I life. will drink Ashanti's bath water. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 
A little chocolate wow. milk. Okay, oh, good. listen. Hey, can we talk about something? Yes. Real quick. Side note from the podcast. No, not um, really. Sorry. All right. Yeah, it's probably something we shouldn't talk about. Go for um, it. Listen, you can go to a safe space. Okay. 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 Like, somebody somebody, somebody was talking about right? chocolate milk, right? Somebody brought up chocolate milk. Who was it? Who was it? Me, Moxie. Okay, okay. It's Moxie. Um, so, long story short, you basically, to the dark side? what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is there has been an unusual amount of chocolate ladies in my DMs lately, and I don't, is there like a white boy season? Like, is that, is that what's going on right now? Like, is that white, is, is right now white boy no, season? No, it's cuffing season, it's really like, cuffing you season, what? and you thick, bro. I'm a- it is yeah. cuffing. First off, it's cuffing season, like you said. I will say there may be an influx of a little jungle fever going on because I don't know if you guys saw, I think it was maybe a couple weeks ago, there was a gentleman who went and he explained about why he liked black women. Yeah, they was talking and, about that on the Breakfast Club not too long ago. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I think that kind of like, I don't know, it kind of lets some people's guards down when it comes to interracial dating and shit. So you might, you better take advantage of it. Bro, around and change your life. Listen, I'm listen, you, all, bro. I'm saying, all I'm saying, listen, all I'm saying is there's some man, there's some we ain't even gonna talk about. It. There's some females that motherfuckers I know know and I went to high school with that I know man that are in my inbox right now. And I'm just like, you what? <laughs> I know exactly who you're Good talking you. about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's exactly what you need right now, guys. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Change your life. Listen to me, and I said this on Nappy City. Obviously, I got a black name. Ain't nothing better than African American women. I'm sorry, yo. <laughs> I don't care what none of y'all say. I've dated multiple races. Nothing better than black women. I'm sorry. Look, Nappy out, bro. I think man? it's I think it's the woman, bro. I don't think yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I'm it's just the I'm woman. Talking. It's like, the woman. It's the woman, bro. I'm I think bro, you need to experience that, that bro. But have you ever dated a black woman before? I am not. Talking to me? B- it, both of you. Oh, oh Rabbit definitely oh, has. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rabbit, Rabbit had it. Oh, Rabbit had it. Yeah. When, when I went to Georgia, I had, yeah, he, I had he, me some other cocos every in day. Go on there, Rabbit. used to stay in Atlanta, bro. Like, come on, man. Rabbit was down in Georgia, baby. Not only that. Not only that. Georgia girls. Georgia girls love them a little bit. Southern boy. <laughs> Not only that, That's Rabbi true. used to date a motherfucking African, bro. Like he, he, oh. you, you, you went far. What, you went what are you doing? You are dating an African, okay? And call him the White Wolf, goddamn it. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> African Jamaican. We'll get you an African. Oh, Jamaican. listen, we're not gonna talk about Jamaican. Never mind. Oh. I can't... What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Shayla, Shayla. Listen, listen. <laughs> Ah. Aaron, Aaron knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh Lord, she in a relationship too. That's terrible. Um, oh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Joy-Con drift. Uh, the Joy-Con drift with Nintendo with they uh, uh Switch. They having another goddamn legal uh, uh lawsuit. I swear, it seems like we having a lawsuit extravaganza with these video game companies. Um, uh. Uh, the company that should be named has get, gotten another clash action lawsuit against them as well. But yeah, uh, Cam's uh, uh, Joy Cons have been drifting. The ones we sent off to get fixed. So if I can get some money for that, I'm definitely finna uh, uh, my, uh, my neck, my back, all of that shit. You know? Joy Cons got me drifting pretty much. <laughs> um, Microsoft patents a chat bot that lets you talk with dead people. We had uh-huh. something similar like this a while ago, early, early, early. Yeah, when I we were talking about that, that but um, it's a no for me, dog. It's definitely yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's definitely like, a no for me. Dog. I no, hell no, I can't. That's gotta stay. That's gotta stay dead. I don't bro. want no hologram. <laughs> I don't want um, no. No, I don't want to. I don't want to have that conversation with my dead ones, bro. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'll, talk to, I'll, Listen, I'll talk to them when I die. I'm sorry. There, there is one person uh, that that I would give probably anything and everything to speak to one more time, but I don't know if that's the way to do it. Like. Hell no! I would give my God-given life for ten minutes to speak to this person again, but I don't think that's the right way. Oh, oh yeah, my late uncle I, I, uh, 
past in 07, and it still feels like he's just on a long ass fucking truck mm-hmm. drive. But you know, I I would give anything to talk to my godmama, and that was two years ago. So I'm like, damn, yeah, that was two years I ago, bro. No, that was two years ago. It and happened. we getting old because I remember when that shit happened. It happened December of 2019? no, it was last year. It's last year. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it happened to December, last year. Um, tw- no, December, December 14th, 2019. 2019. Yeah. Damn, that shit flew past. Cause we it's in twenty one, so years. yeah, it's going on. It's two going years. on two, two years. Well, I feel like cause it's twenty one. I'm thinking of twenty. Yeah, it's going on two years when that happened. So, uh, the consistency for the nerd boys is fuck no baby. Um, no, nah, that shit weird. <laughs> 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 nah, I don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah. Ouija boards, none of that shit. I'm good. I don't need I'm to good talk on to all of that. I don't want no tarot cards. You you unless shit. I'm dead, too. <laughs> Look, you I turn don't want no Phoenix down, no right Dragon there. Balls, no, none of that shit. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Keep I'm not that using shit. my men, none of that shit. Mm, I burn incense, not so. I don't want them to, yeah. to come back as a Gengar, <laughs> none of that shit. None of it. None of it. Um. Okay, the Uncharted movie. I ain't trying to have them reincarnated. Uh, the Uncharted movie, Ghostbusters, Cinderella, and Peter Rabbit 2 have been delayed until 2022. Does anybody hear? Uh, no, uh, this is actually no. very good. This is very good, so I really don't care. Yeah, take as much time as you want. Just make sure you get it right. Don't rush it out. We see what happens when you rush the product out. So. Man, does somebody... Does, what, Nappy, what, what did you just do, bro? No, I swear I heard something else in the background, bro. What's oh, going on? Cyber. Yeah, oh. bro. This, this, motherfucker, this motherfucker sounds like he pulled the Glock out for some movies, I mean, bro. <laughs> I mean, he, he, uh, he does stay in Detroit. Shots fired. Literally. What? Um, What's up? <laughs> what you trying to say about Detroit? I'm from Michigan, too, bro. I can do that. I, I was thinking <laughs> about my Glock and pull my Glock. Michigan and Detroit I, is I, very I, different. I've been to Detroit. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Michigan and Detroit are two different things. Sometimes okay. I be Ben Hardway that, that much different from you guys. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Like sometimes I be looking at the other states and I'm like, is this is really the same place? Listen, huh? You have Michigan and then you have Detroit, Michigan. These are two set. These are two different Michigans. You yeah. have the state of Michigan and you have Detroit, Michigan. We are all separate. I'm, from all, all, I'm, all I'm saying is, an 18 year old girl died. Three doors down from my uh, grandma's house from the random shooting. So like, yeah. Uh, yeah, bro, that's like, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I understand that, but I just, I don't know. I spent a good five years of my life kind of talking to people about this city, and I just, I don't like that narrative because yeah, you know just, that there's, it's an urban, a major city, and in mm-hmm. any urban major city, you have crime. It's densely I tease Lisa about Chicago all the time. I get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I think I just all people. I get tired of. I get tired of hearing that shit because a lot of the times. A lot of the times, that's the only type of shit you hear about Detroit when we got so much going on. Oh, you, you know? Macomb, I mean, there's the a fucking, reason. Uh, Motile Museum, the fucking African American History Museum, y'all got some hits, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you, you they, they were talking about building an African American History Museum, and I think it's in D.C. Like it was the only one in the country. Country, you know, we have a right. great one. Detroit is actually there. I've been to the that, uh, that uh, museum like at least five times, Detroit and, is and I shed a tear damn near every time I go into the slave ship. I'm not gonna lie. Detroit is the blackest city in America. That's like I don't fact. know. We got so Atlanta got Atlanta no, might be if you look for it your up, neck. No, Atlanta like, might be coming no, for like, your neck, bro. It may be getting there, but like if you look up the stats, that's that's the truth. The blackest even look city at, in, look at the art world. Detroit is the mecca for art when it comes yes. to plus black like community. it's Motown, bro. And like I, I, like you can't like. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, we like, got a lot of other things that you know what I mean. Everybody knows about Motown. Oh, it's it's just after, Qua- after, after Kwame America. did what he did, all eyes went on Detroit, and now Detroit is. You the just most get the. I just. Place. You just hear the crime Joey, shit. Like just, which you know, which version so of white are we talking about? Are we talking about banjo white? Are we talking about stockbroker white? Are we talking about yeah, yeah uh, Starbucks white? Which version of white are we talking like, about? Like literally, Bob we got Detroit got the oldest and ethnicity. All right, the first and oldest pottery company what? in America was here. Like, there's a lot of like weird little Detroit facts that I think that should be okay. showcased a little bit more than the fact okay. that now there's crime. Okay. Does anyone, anyone got any ideas? What? 
Sky. Whoa. <laughs> Did the beat go I would have never missed this, bro. What? Did the beat go off? Uh, I completely missed what the fuck you said. Um, what did you say? It, okay, who wants to guess what the highest, uh, what the city is with the highest percentage of white people in the United States of America, and what do you think that percentage is? Is Portland. it in, like, South Dakota or some shit? Man, no, like, oh, one at a time, this, this one at a time, one at a time, rabbit go, because you live in like the whitest fucking place in this earth. Minnesota's so, not that just, white. Hold, hold the fuck up, bro. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, no, we, Minnesota do have a shit ton of white people there, bro. No, nah, okay. bro, did you not? <laughs> Dude, uh, what the fuck? But that's not bad. Okay, go, but go, 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 go. That's what's city. from Minnesota. No, no, shoot me a city. You. I ain't at. I ain't, All right, I ain't next. Asking the question, Moxie. <laughs> I said Portland. Portland, Oregon? Okay. Yeah. Chrono. I said Cali. Cali. I mean, not Cali. What did you but, say? I mean, oh, uh, not LA. I was going to say Bel Air. Boy, oh. you've been to California said, before. Rent the people manga. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God, we're moving. That's on. a real. No, that's a real. Rancho Cucamonga is a. Real I know city. Rancho yes. Cucamonga is a real city. Yes. I've been fucking there. Seattle. Yes. I don't fucking know. Okay. Rancho we are right. Alabama. And and the uh, city is San Antonio, Texas, with a white percentage of sixty nine point six percent. Um. Yeah. That's not that high, though. The 2015 census was 1.4 million people in the city. What do you mean that's not that high? That's 70% of the population. No, black people only make like 13% of the population in the U.S. We're, we're that's not. That's what I mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, you, Antonio you, fucking Texas. Bro, bro we're used like, to being in Antonio functions. Like we, that's bro. I'm Guys, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Black people are used to being the only black person in the room. Yeah, you know, that's not that's not what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> it's not, I'm not surprise us at all. Of all the races, you got to think white people, Hispanic people, black people, uh, Asians, like all the different ethnicities you could think would be like in Texas, especially like Texas has a high population of Hispanic people. Like, what well, does right there next how, to Mexico? Right, but like sixty nine percent. That's really high for being in Texas. You know, you would almost think that it would be. Very balanced. You down know there. how you, you know, know how red hey, Texas can get, bro. You like, want to know what's crazy? <laughs> I, I, I guarantee you, forty percent of that population of that population is veterans, because Probably. yeah, because of how Texas treat their veterans down there. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not surprised because in the military, that's all they preach is you should go to Texas for how they treat veterans in Texas. So I'm one hundred percent not surprised surprised by that at all. Okay, moving on. Uh, our Bitcoin guy is back. Uh, he's offering to uh, he offering fifty million dollars to anybody who can help him retrieve his fortune. Oh, bet say less. Boy, get your ass up out of here! Like you, you know, I know how to hack. <laughs> like you got the codes. Okay, I got the codes. Look, hey, bro, if you had if you could hack like that, you would not be in here talking to our simple ass. It's right not now. hard to hack. He's hacking what a PC? It's supposed. I, I think it's like a hard drive or something. I'm not, not sure what do. it was. He could literally take that to Geek Squad. He literally could take that to Geek Squad. You think squad he ain't tried that shit yet? He literally pretty, was supposed I'm, to. He didn't try all time. the conventional means. Otherwise, he wouldn't yeah. be in the news right now. And trying to, to pay call. somebody 50. Like, no. He didn't try all conventional means. It, it has to be something more. It probably has, like, encrypted and uh, double codes and all the other type of goofy ball ass shit. This man about to call the Phantom Thieves from Persona 5 to go unlock his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, Man, imagine brother. getting paid fifty million dollars to hack somebody hard drive, bro. Like, bro, all he need to do is call Desek. Call boy Marcus. Call Marcus Desek. You got it. All this motherfucker needs Dude, to do is call cell Penelope phone. Garcia from Criminal Minds, and she gonna be in that <laughs> bitch in about two minutes and fifteen uh, seconds. Well, yeah, she's gonna call you about ten minutes later because. She's gonna be looking through all the other weird shit you got on your motherfucking hard drive and finding some dirt on your ass. And um, then be like, I'm gonna need you to fork up a couple hundred more yeah, mil. Yeah, so we was uh, talking about be- how many mil? I'm gonna need like a 10% increase. Yeah. Like, unless you, want walking, people, unless you want people walking. seeing you with, you know, you wearing your fucking Jeffrey tidy whiteies all over, all over the fucking internet. I mean, how much he got? He got 200 million? 250 million. 
150 million. He just giving up the 50. He still got 200 million. Look, hey, I don't blame him, bro. <laughs> I don't blame him either. Oh, shit. Oh, Talking about he made million. peace with his loss. Bullshit. We all knew that was bullshit when he said that. <laughs> I would be sick. Listen, listen. His mama went up to him like, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look, you know the difference. See, he got the hard B in the word bitch. You know, what? Kind of you know what? Word you, know what I you know what I would have made peace with? The fact that however he lost it, somebody stole this shit from him, I would have made peace with the fact that it was going to be murder. Like no, 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 no. Nobody stole it. It's literally he just lost his fucking password. He can't he log into his password. Okay. He, man, you... Okay. Right. No, I'm He's like, I made peace right, with right. it. Look, he had a dream. Jesus said, yo, dumbass, don't fear <laughs> Like, oh uh, shit! Uh, everybody's losing their goddamn mind over the uh, tall uh, vampire woman for Resident Evil Eight. Uh, There's a demo out for people who have the PS5. It's supposed to be supposed to be coming out on May seventh. Uh, anybody care? Nope. No. No. Nope. Uh, okay. Not uh, everybody losing their mind. Yeah. Uh, uh oh shit! I forgot. Another condolences go out to a Tekken player named the Bad Guy. He dies in a road rage accident. Not entirely sure the details yeah. about it, but he passed My question as well. is, was he roll raging or was somebody roll raging? Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up the let me pull up the article. Uh, yeah, rest in peace. Somebody somebody probably somebody probably rolled down their window and was like, You're a bitch, you can't do quarter circle moves and then he freaked the <laughs> fuck out and he lost his it lost his mind and then, you know. That's how it goes. Uh, he circled up and end up being a self-destruct. Man yeah. uh, was allegedly shouting racial slurs at a fatal road rage accident. So he was. No, he, he the the black guy died. No, so was he shouting it or somebody shouting? Somebody at him? was shouting at him and he ended up dying for it. Oh, I'm about to say if it was him. Oh, oh well. Oh but, well. Why you gotta be an asshole? Oh, awesome. <laughs> Did you not hear what that I said? That man name was Henny Tapia, bro. That man name was Henny Tapia. Mm-mm-mm. Anything possible, baby. Anything, Damn. Was, anything was possible. Because you so, know you got a slick mouth on you, and if something happens to no, you like somebody that, you was like, I, 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 I said, shit at I, listen, I said, listen, listen, listen. On the podcast, oh, I'm well. saying this. If something happens to I said about the lady that died at the Capitol. If I die because of my stupidity... I want people to roast me because it was based off of my stupidity. Here's I my... have, I have no remorse for stupidity. Now I understand that. I understand that. But here's what I understand the most is that we're all we all do stupid shit, mm-hmm. right. and that just doesn't mean that we need to your death should just be shrugged off because I made one bad decision in one moment of my life. You, know you got to give people more grace than that, yo. You know how much dumb shit I used to do back in my early twenties. Then you, what you, what you wanted to do is who back in the day would just used to run up and beat niggas up, like. Yeah, counter. But and, if uh, I would have died for that, counter. At the end of the day, I was stupid. Like I said, me, I, I live like that. My decisions at the end of the day are gonna make or break me. I didn't now, do I stupid shit like that. that. That's why I'm saying, like, listen, you know, I, I, would I, be, I, I would be honest. I but, see his side. And I see everyone else's side. Just the other fucking day, I took a 35 mile, mile per hour corner at 85 mile per hour just so I can see if I still felt things. Like if I still had actual feelings. If I would have landed in the river, that's my own stupidity. Like, do, you, do, do we need to have about? a talk after yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> why, why is this the first we hear about this? We, right, we, right. right. Why, we why are you bringing this shit up on the podcast? I made it why, home, bro. Why the fuck, why the fuck right, are you right. saying this shit on the podcast? Okay, so right, right. no, we got, we got, have, let's move on. We, we will talk about this after the podcast. That's a that's a move on situation. Oh, we, we, we definitely do. are, we, we gonna have a boy. I just want to wrap this up. I, I just want to end this by saying yes, we all do stupid shit, and there are consequences for our actions. But that doesn't mean that that passing and that death would mean anything less. I just don't want to kind of just. Yeah, side tracking and brushing. R.I.P. to the guy. R.I.P. to the guy. Let's move on. Uh, Tory Lanes. Uh, oh God. Apparently oh. there, uh, there was. <laughs> apparently there was a. Uh, 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 someone came out here and leaked and said that the charges were dropped. Turned out it wasn't dropped, and it was just that the court case had changed. 
And people are still harassing Megan over that. Uh, that's all I'm going to talk about that. If anybody wants to ask their two cents, there you go. Uh, I'm so tired of this shit. I'm over it, bro. Like, I just need to know, it. is he guilty or not? Homeboy, you going to jail or not? Nah? Like, right. I'm just so tired. Did, you, did you really shoot her? Or did you shoot her? Like, that's all I care. Because, Tori, you shot her. Did you shoot her or did you jail, shoot her? Right? Did you shoot her willingly? What did you try to take the shot or did you shoot her willing? Like, bro, I, who cares? You going to, you ain't gonna go to jail because you're a celebrity, and we all know how courts are with celebrities that aren't R. Kelly or Bill Cosby. But no, they send them motherfuckers to jail. Uh, YF and Lucci, like they sending them to Shit, jail. Uh, Cody big... Black and Lil Wayne was fucking in jail until they got pardoned. We right. all know no, what's about to happen. Hip hop right cops. Are... All, 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 all I gotta say is praise Donald Trump for giving us little Wayne back. There, no, we could. Uh, no, Wayne fine. hasn't been the same. Wayne hasn't been the same since 2011, bro. Look, it's fine. But, uh, in fact, I feel like he probably would have made better music if he was in jail. So no. I'll go. Yeah. I'll go. I, <laughs> go although back. I could do with another Kodak uh, Black bop before he go back to jail. Even though it's only a matter of time. Yeah, but going going back. I kind of, at the same time, I'm tired of fucking hearing Meg shit too. Like, bro, shut the fuck. I hate to say this. I know a lot of women are gonna get mad for me to say, to say this. Meg, shut. I mean, the do you really hit the same? Why? Oh. Why Meg? Like, got just, a, why, what's wrong with what Meg saying? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just saying. What's I'm saying both of them. It. Both of them need to just shut the fuck up and get it done and over with in court. Like, what has Meg said though? I haven't heard her I, like overtly. All she's been doing, her doing her is, her. is like defending herself. Like, no, that's what I, I mean. Like, if somebody I, I, shot I, me, I, I gotta shut the fuck up. I'm fine <laughs> with that, bro. Okay, I'm fine with that. Just shut up. Let me just shut the fuck up. I mean, I know he shot me and shit. I'm I'm tired. Tired. I'm I'm tired. Tired. I get tired of hearing everybody every time something happens, and then like this whole thing. I already knew the shit was fucking false. There's no fucking way they're going to drop the case the day after the inauguration. If the case was supposed to be on the inauguration, of course it got pushed back. Obviously, you got social media pushing that shit back. All right, cool. All this is me. This is me. I'm speaking for Nappy. All Meg had to say was no, because of the inauguration, it got pushed back. Whatever. We'll settle this in court. It's like you take it, you say your point, yeah, you angry, and you add other shit to it. Like, like, Meg, stop. We get it. You got shot. I'm I'm with you. You got shot. I'm one of the men that's probably with you. That's saying, yeah, man, got shot. This nigga needs to go to jail. I've said this from day one. Got Anybody who quote me, I've said it from day one. Tori needs to go to fucking jail. Period. <laughs> All that other stuff. Shit, just shut you up. Ain't, you special bang. Fifty got shot. What nine times? Like just go to court and settle this shit. <laughs> like who? You don't have to feed. This is me. You don't have to feed into other people's bullshit. And like it causes her to respond, but in actuality, man does not need to Prono, respond. Did you realize what the what? fuck you just said? Hmm? <laughs> did you realize what the fuck you just said? No. Nope. Feeding into other people trolling bullshit. Yeah, I know. I don't have to respond. Man! All right, moving on. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like that point right there <laughs> I'm done. Is something that I've said to him so yeah. many times. Like, I'm moving you know on. I mean? like, I'm not finna yeah, dignify that with a response. I I, I'm, I'm the same way. I probably should have responded to shit too, but you don't have to respond to troll ass people. I'm trying to learn that shit too. And stupid shit news. Shit. You respond over. Hey, no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. She got shot. Listen, listen, shocked. listen. And tell, tell me, tell me, is this the truth? Listen, Linda. Wait, listen, when she kept responding to it and falling into the troll ass motherfuckers, hasn't a lot of people start going away from her side? Like you lying, you changing your story. It doesn't you matter. Do At the end of the day, it matters what the fucking court say. That's, oh yeah, and that's all, right. all I'm waiting. And that's it. And that's what anything. I'm saying. Like no matter how you respond to it, Meg. At the end of the day, when the court says is it he's guilty or not guilty, you will have your justice or. You won't have your justice, and you kind of got to eat your words. Just let the court shut motherfuckers up. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not saying it like, as, oh, I want this woman to shut. No, no. I just want her to go to court and shut people the fuck up and not run her mouth so people start saying, oh, you lying. Like, no, I don't think she's lying at all. Regardless, at the end of the day, she got shot intentionally or unintentionally. Tori got to go to jail for it, period. That's a, we need a... Uh... We need an animation of Chrono talking to himself with this whole conversation we just had. Oh, you know, you know, Nappy. <laughs> 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 
Moving on. Uh, apparently, t- a Twitch jumped on a, a Trump hate train and banned him. I don't know fucking why. Because, like, he's not in office anymore. Leave and- my president alone. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, um... I, I, I don't know why uh, Twitch is jumping on this train. It's fucking stupid. Like, he's done. Like, he's not president anymore. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he had to go to Weenie Hut General for a minute, but that's naked, boy. Man, leave my president alone. I'll say it again. Your president didn't even get us that two thousand stimulus check. <laughs> Man, he can't help bro, those dumb bro, motherfuckers. he tried. Hold on. Before yeah. you say that. No, I know tried... he tried. Okay. <laughs> he can't help that there's some motherfucker that should probably already be in the grave over there. Like, man, give nobody no money. Fuck these people. I feel like <laughs> after like after you turn like seventy, you don't need to be in the office anymore. But that's it. It'd be your own no. people. I did seventy eight. I seen. A, I think I seen oh. a thing the other day that well, had some like me. some like politicians on it, and they're. Their like date of births were in the forties. They were like, "Why the fuck do we got politicians that were born in the fucking forties? Like, Jesus Christ. making our law for us? Like, get oh, these no. old ass motherfuckers out." No, I feel like you. I should. I think you, they should be forced to retire at like a regular retirement age. At, at least sixty five. I like, say. Uh, like, tell me, tell me, tell me something. Tell me something right now. How many of y'all know like? elderly people probably in like their 70s or, or up that just ain't with it in the head anymore like that just my, ain't my grandma my grandma crazy my, my they grandma just crazy isn't there. my grandma <laughs> rest <laughs> up, uh, my grandma i love bless her heart but she don't got it anymore I don't know. I ain't gonna say. I, I I might be a little biased. I don't really only have one elder in my family that's alive right now. My nana, she's in her early seventies and she is as sharp as a fucking whip. So I'm, I, I'm like, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is there's some people out there that are definitely stuck in some different times. I mean, I grew up right. I was friends with uh uh this black kid named Jalen lived right down the street. I loved his grandma. She was at the time in her sixties. And she used to call me cracker all the time, like on oh God, like on oh God, like. And that was fucking fifteen years ago, like like y'all stuck in different times, you know? What yeah, I'm that's saying? true. Like, that's very true. We need people. We need people who are like refreshed on the generations and stuff. People that least, might not be so set in their ways, you know. At least the baby boomers, not the lost generation. Jesus yeah. Christ. Anyway, um. This is stupid. Twitch is literally just trying to be pick me's at this point. I, I don't understand. Like, what, what are they doing that? But moving on. Uh, Alice Trebek. His last uh, episode drew um, 14 million viewers on Jeopardy. Um, Let's he, go. Uh, his, uh, uh, um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with uh, the next person. Uh, it was uh, somebody... I forgot the guy's name that was uh, doing Ken Jennings or some shit like that. He's doing it as a guest right now. He's not the permanent member. I'm not exactly sure who's going to be hosting Jeopardy, but uh, as of right now, they, they got Ken as um, the host. Hey, but, why not? Why not have the most winningest person in Jeopardy be the next host? Yeah, that's that's cute. But are they no, like, as no. charismatic oh, let's as make Joe Rogan the host of Jeopardy? Joe Lamar Rogan, no. Larkin. We are Lamar, fucking Joe. Lamar Moore. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, Jesus. NBA Jam from 1994 has a mod where you can get the 2021 roster on it. Jam. And uh, Lakers will be OP. Okay. <laughs> I just, I really just want another good fucking street ball basketball. It, it game. would never like, happen because you can't. And that's make so hurtful. Yeah, that hurts. That's but, so hard. What? They just need to do a they remake. They could if they NBA wanted Street. to. Just make a remake of NBA Streets. That's all. I don't even care if it's single player. Make a remake of NBA Streets. Uh, they they little, didn't sell well. That's re- literally the reason why they don't bring them back. We like them, but the ma- the main people who Those are basketball. hood classics. Exactly. Yeah. We like them. Hey, hey, I like them too. Shit. 
That's what I said. You, 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 you from the hood. The no fuck? <laughs> I just, I had to, I just had to make sure y'all 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 know this, bro. Look, we didn't, we didn't I know say it was a black people a game. We said it was a hood game. That's different. Right. I know there's a large stipu- a stipulation on equating the word hood with black, but it's a cultural thing. That's yes. not, we <laughs> say, it's not listen. synonymous with black. Fucking so. Joey. We we about every time I say I grew up in the hood, people tell me I didn't. So I'm not. I, I, like like the the me, like, <laughs> I mean, I got a list of games I want them to do a remake to, including starting it. with uh, the Matrix, the Path of Neo. Right. Okay, I'm gonna need them to bring that. That's the back. one with Jada Smith in it. Jada Smith. I said the Matrix Path of Neo. Oh, I know it's one with Jada Smith in it. I don't know which one that was. You talking Neo about the Entanglement Saga? Wow! Get the fuck out of here! Get him the fuck out of here, bro. He he gotta go. This this motherfucker just said the entanglement saga on the you motherfucker. Do that one, AK got said that we need her gym, bro. You do that one more fucking time. Got... I swear to God. Anyway, bro, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let Moxie get her get her point off. Yeah, go ahead, Moxie. No, but, but I mean, I just think there's a lot of other games that they could be doing remakes to. Um, and like I said, first off, we're going to start with The Matrix. I want that. I'm going to need them to bring back the SSX games because that snowboarding shit is super fun. Tricky. I just, yes. You see what I mean? You see, oh, you get it. Cool mm-hmm. What was the last time they cool put it? Cool borders. It was it was a long time ago yeah it was a playstation 3 i mean I think steve was, was that okay. one was fire 2004 or some shit like that, that one was fire yo i mean steve was okay but it wasn't arcadey at all Mm-mm. it wasn't the same it definitely wasn't the same and now it's just a time for it because it seemed like you know what i mean in addition to hollywood it seemed like the gaming world the easy way to make a quick buck is to just either remaster for some shit or remake it all right all right so give people way, what they want by the way it's officially now christened weenie hut general Mm. Oh, you actually changed it to it. Oh, um, yeah. HBO Max will be pre- uh, premiering Godzilla vs. King Kong in March, and I cannot wait for that movie. Godzilla better beat his ass. Um, Netflix has 200 million subscribers. Netflix also got <laughs> coconut basketball, and that anime right. is fire. Dude, I've been watching the shit out of that, bro. Oh, so, my God. God, I'm gonna have to check that shit out, yo. I'm gonna have to check. Listen, when I say that anime makes it seem like they scrapping on there, oh my god, (laughs) anime (laughs) slick. Matter of fact, let's do that. that. Let's do that. Uh, All all of us watch at least the first five episodes or so of Kuroko no No Basket, and then we'll come back and do a a joint. Somebody, somebody's gotta text me what the fuck that is because it's, it's I don't the know basketball it. anime on netflix bro it's, it's the basketball anime just, on just netflix. look for the yeah it's it's like the, the new man edition. why why couldn't we just do a group consensus on the anime we want to watch now we y'all did. forcing me to watch a basketball anime when i never agreed to this but that's, i think that's the whole point though it's not like an ordinary kind of show i think i, I think what we'll it's do like is food wars it's weird i like, think what we'll do <laughs> is uh everybody will uh once a week, it'll be okay. Just Moxie turn to uh, recommend. Um, show how about we do this after the podcast, like not during yeah, the podcast? Yeah, true. Um, you can edit this out. Um, um, what's the name? Uh, the man who created Captain Falcon, Fox McCloud, and Majora's Mask is has passed. I had not passed. He retired from um. What Nintendo. is what you killing people off? I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Dave Chappelle off. Hey, like he's Dave. uh. You almost killed Dave Chappelle. He's with like Lord. George. What is he? George R. R. Martin, the guy of the Game of Thrones. Yeah, I just need to check. The one that slept with his auntie. Oh boy! No, wait, what the fuck? No, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> Chrono. Last thing before we go, the all through that show. <laughs> but... Last thing before we go. Last thing we uh do before we get to um questions. As a rare Blastoise card, that went for three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. So, yeah. You know I'm what? so upset. I should have I kept my motherfucking Pokemon I to- I, bro. Oh, uh, my. I told y'all that story that happened with my Pokemon cards getting stolen from me when I was like I, in I fifth grade or some shit. I'm so hurt. And you know, and what, I gotta, you know what I got to say to that? 
Shoot him up in the ghetto where we all ride. <laughs> uh, somebody gonna have to pay for this with the click clack. Like, cause I just, we could be, you know where we could be right now if we all just had at least one card. Bro, that if we I still had my Pokemon quick. card, like, there were some unopened packs that went for like $150,000 not too long ago. Nah, it's that one dude, though. Somebody called himself the Pokemon Guru and brought a pack for. To what it was like a box for like half a meal, right? This dude got the pack and they were still open. Like the cars was open, some were resealed. Bro, come to find out that dude was scamming people. He called himself wow. the Pokemon Guru. Wow. Like it's what a whole plan, man. It's a whole video on it because they were like, it's a whole bunch of racial dudes that just did this shit because they seen Logan Paul doing it. Mm -hmm. So they was like, oh, we're gonna get into it too. It's it's popular. And then they got scammed. Like, right, people can't authenticate Pokemon cards, bro. Like, stop it. Right. There's like somebody found this box. <laughs> well, how the hell? First of all, how you find an authentic Pokemon box? Uh, unopened. <laughs> unopened. Open the cards, resealed the cards, and it was like Jungle Force, Jungle Fever Pokemon cards, whatever it was called. <laughs> EX. Jungle Force. The fuck? The fuck is Jungle, Jungle Fever. <laughs> Like, I don't it's know the name of this it. episode. It's gonna have to be Jungle Fever. Yep, we can do that. Um, questions. We got one from a king and one for Gumby. Um, he basically said, "What are y'all perspective of Dragon Ball using um non-canon shit and making it canon into the stuff? I.e., how they made Broly canon. I.e., how they're um slowly moving towards GT in terms of uh Oob and stuff like that." Uh. Go ahead, get your uh, little Dragon Ball hate so we can talk about it. I wasn't even going to hate on it. I mean, while I do believe Dragon Ball should have ended at the fucking Freezer Saga, I don't know how to Cell Saga, because Cell Saga was the shit. Goku should have stayed dead, but that's actually really good that they're making non-canon shit canon. That's storytelling. Something that DBZ does not have. Storytelling. So... I want to see. I hope they do GT next, like, cause Moro is kind of ass. So I want them to do GT and just go into the whole GT saga after this. But we'll see. The reason why he's saying that because the newest plot line is basically a remake of the Tuffle arc from GT. Uh, the main uh, antagonist in Super right now is somebody who was uh, uh, his planet was destroyed by Bardock back in the day, and now he's out here um, fucking up everything because his home world was destroyed by the Saiyans, which is literally just a plot line from GT. It's a new one, or is it still Moro? Because Moro, you know, last Moro is just over with, bro. Oh, uh, because I about to say Moro was just this a remake a of the fucking. Different. This is a completely What's different it? art. I about to say because Moro was literally Cell 2.0, so it was like he was yeah, like Cell was definitely a magician. But anyway, yeah. um, yeah, he was <laughs> a rabbit. How you uh, feel about that? How you feel about uh, them reusing GT plot lines? I don't like it. If they're gonna do something, just make it new, like they did with Super. Uh, I I I enjoyed Super. Some people didn't. I I enjoyed Super. I enjoyed GT for what it was. But they shouldn't go and make a whole new arc off of GT. I um, mean, it's not a it's not a dot by dot remake. It's kind of like taking some of the concept and I guess trying to improve on it. It's leading into GT though, ain't it? Because Super is before GT. GT should be the last thing if we were. GT if is GT not canon, canon, so they're not. I don't know. I'm about they're, they're not. They're not in the same linear path line. So GT is is not even part of any of that story. No, no, no. I know that. I'm saying if it were to be canon, it wouldn't it have feel like. Yeah, somewhere. it would be after Z. It would be. It would after. be after. Literally, it would have happened after all of this shit happened, which would make no fucking sense. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. Wouldn't it happen after Z and before Super? No, because no, Pan, no. Pan ain't that old. Pan yet. was like 12 when GT was. Yeah, if Pan is like five or six. Pan is a couple months old in Super. Oh, is it no, a no, months? she's not. Yeah, Pan is like a little. No, she's not. She's she's the same age as she is in GT. No, she's oh. not. Pan is a baby in Super. What are you talking about? No, I'm I'm fuck, she's on, not. Yes, yeah, she is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I put money on the baby. She's not a baby. Beerus was babysitting her, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, there's literally a scene in Super where Piccolo was rocking her uh, in a fucking uh, uh, uh rocket thing. It is. was talking about changing her pampers. Pam is a baby in Super. 
Pan is. I don't know what I'm thinking of then. I just, I don't remember her being little in Super. Because she hasn't Pan... even had a speaking line in Super. It's all been baby talk. When Pan was introduced in GT, she was 10. In Super, she's 2. So, Alright, so therefore, right? fuck you, AK. She's not a baby. She's 2. She a toddler. Bro, she <laughs> has had no speaking lines in Super at all. <laughs> <laughs> you were still wrong because he wasn't the same age. Bitch, you were still wrong too. So but you got okay. Me. So you got to remember the tournament arc. I want to say when they go to Moro, that's a <laughs> little bit further ahead. I want to. Bro, so they are not. Right. They are not gonna do GT. GT is his own thing. You just think of it as a, uh, a different Earth Two or some shit. <laughs> shit. As long as as long as Goku got fans, they will redo GT. I'm sorry, bro. You are. They want to read this. Dog, I, look. He, here's my thing. You name me something that's been running since the '80s consistently that hasn't had pro, pro, uh, plot problems, and then I'll shut the fuck up. Since the '80s? Yes, because Dragon Ball came out in the '80s. JoJo. Wrestling. <laughs> he got quiet, didn't he? <laughs> JoJo, he got real. JoJo came out after <laughs> Dragon Ball One. You talking to the biggest JoJo fan in this fucking room? One, <laughs> two, two. But you said in the eighties, JoJo's came out in the eighties. People it? talk about shit. Uh, people talk about shit. Rocky forgot all the times. Literally, is a fucking meme. So you're wrong. No, sir. You said I get quiet. You was quiet as hell for a good second. I was right. Move it on. No, you weren't. Like I said, name something that's been wrong, running since the eighties that doesn't have plot problems. Did Sailor Moon have plot problems? I don't think Sailor Moon had that many plot problems. Sailor Moon also is not currently running. It's done. Yu-Gi-Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh didn't come out in the 80s. Exactly. Yu-Gi-Oh hey, didn't come hey, out in the 80s. First of all, first exactly. of all, AK. First the, of AK, the whole point is 80s animes stopped. <laughs> the only one, Who's the only two that are still running are JoJo <laughs> and um. Because I swear he's forces. You know what? I'm not gonna get into this. Uh, second question. No, 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 no. You better, you better hold up, bring that back, and reverse it, bro. What the fuck you talking about? The second okay, question. I'm flipping and reverse ahead. The okay. second question is from Gumby, and it's donuts versus brownies. Which one? Yeah, oh donuts. shit! It, it depends, depends on where the donuts. Yeah, hell, hell yeah! If it's, is it Dutch girls or Krispy Kreme donuts? donuts? Anywhere else, brownies. If, oh, yeah. 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 if, if it's like sweet waters or something like that, it's donuts. But uh. Otherwise, it's brownies because you can do other stuff with brownies that you can't do with donuts. Brownies, you can um, get some ice cream. Fuck, if it's a you can put ice donut, cream on a donut. I wasn't talking about a, fucking ice cream. If That's it's a donut, um, it's got to be the uh, the raspberry cream, the raspberry filled donuts. Ooh. And then if it's a brownie, it's got to be the egg pieces. <laughs> <laughs> raspberry? I can't see the fuck out. Literally, everybody was like, "No, nah, uh, y'all don't know about the." What's the fuck? Uh, the Bismarck, the the Phil Bismarck's are the raspberry, aren't they? No, I don't nah, care. I'll for just Johnny give me a plain, a plain. Give me a glaze. glaze. Give me a regular glaze. Donut. Regular glaze. Hey, what was the fucking question again? Donuts, Donuts or brownies? Or brownies? Uh, he doesn't eat either. Let's move on. Donuts. <laughs> I haven't had either one in damn near either. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and when y'all come to Detroit for you, Macon, I'm taking y'all to Dutch Girls. Dutch Girls are the greatest donuts ever. Nah, is, nah, we got no, the greatest donuts down no, here. No, with no, these, no. And these it's Amish motherfuckers. Literally, literally, the donuts that they make, the staple donuts they make, are nicknamed Amish Crack. Look. Like... That's Dutch how good these girls. motherfuckers don't know. Fucking Sweetwaters is the shit, too, bro. So we ain't gonna talk. You can Dutch girl when I was in Cal- internationally known, bro. It when I was in known. Kalamazoo, you could literally smell when they would make the motherfucking uh, donuts throughout the whole fucking city. Like, it was that. It, they are that official, bro. Like Dutch girls are so good, people don't even care. It's in the worst hood in Detroit. But like, really that's how good Dutch girls Dutch girl, is. Are you talking about the Dutch girls that's on like oh, in, Seven Mile and uh, Woodward, the one by my old neighborhood, Seven okay, Mile and Woodward, okay. and you I'm run down the street with all I'm the. I'm thinking of that houses. other place. I know oh. where you're talking about because it's a it's a fucking um, the one right across Asian corn beef place. right there. Yeah, um, right but I thought at first I thought you was talking about that donut spot that's in like Rosedale Park. No, I'm talking about the one that's on Seven Mile, <laughs> Seven Mile and Woodward. Right in the hood, right across the street from the police station in the park where all the um, happy people go to. So, yeah. He said happy people. Anyway, uh, let's get let's go to uh, uh, outros and get the fuck up out of here. Uh, Moxie. 
Yo, thank you once again, guys, for tuning in with us, guys and gals. Um, yeah, it's been great as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. We this year we set a goal to try to get to a hundred subs. Um, we appreciate everybody for tuning in every week with us. We love you all and peace. Okay, uh, Bunny Boy. Bro, how you make me follow that boy? What the fuck? Um, it's your boy Rabbit, aka DJ Carrot Six. We appreciate y'all coming in, hanging out with us for the hour, hour and a half for do this. We appreciate it. it. Means a lot to us. Thank you. Uh, Skies. Yo, it's your boy Skies, aka Cumulo Nimbus, aka Weatherman J. Um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, get us to a hundred subs on YouTube so that Nappy can get off our fucking head. Um, <laughs> also. Um, uh, keep up with my Twitch. Um, I'm trying to get like a regular schedule set for that shit. Past couple of weeks have been rocky, you know, uh, dealing with some outside bullshit. But um, so yeah, just uh, keep up with us. Uh, Chrono. Yeah, what's up, people? Nappy here. Uh, thank you for being here. Like I said, thank you for being a like friend. Like I said, get us to 100 because, hey, I've been slacking. Down the road so. and back in. <laughs> I said before, over on that beat. Hey, if yo, can I can I get my announcement done? Hell, <laughs> y'all hate y'all some haters, yo. I'm about to send all y'all to the meeting. Isn't body everybody you need a look? But yeah, so you know what? You know what? This is. <laughs> you thought you was talking to yourself, right? Because I'm recording this through OBS, right? Yeah. They didn't hear yeah, shit you said. Okay. Uh, nope. They thought it was a game, so I kicked them out. They didn't hear funny? shit you said. Joke's on you. Yeah, joke's on you, motherfucker. Like, I hear someone recording. <laughs> We out. <laughs> oh shit. Um, uh, be looking out for some new, uh, shakes up, uh, shake ups with uh, the podcast. We're gonna be trying to um, shake things up, trying to get some more videos out there on YouTube so we can get our name out there. Uh, we'll let you guys know. Other than that, uh, Nerd Boys Podcast Episode Forty Nine. We out. Peace.